There are people who are going to say, holy crap, Larry Nasser went after young girls. You got to punish this son of a bitch. You got to go after him and you got to make, you got to get him as hard as you can. But wait a minute, we have a guy and a guy and it's grown men and yeah, it's it's in a locker room and, and maybe it wasn't that big a deal. You and I both know that I, I'm not discounting anything here and I'm not trying to play this down, but you and I both know that that's the perception of a lot of fans and not only the fans, but the media who's in here. Because it's not young girls that are involved, it's a couple of grown men that are involved. That's just perception. Yeah, but instead, Joe. what we had was a 20-year-old kid, and then later on, Aldrich assaulted a 16-year-old Michigan hockey player. So what we have is they all participated in a cover-up, and this guy kept assaulting young boys. I mean, it is, it is literally the same thing. But what happens is that we, we are living in a time in our lives where we see crimes going on every day right in front of us, and we're justifying it. We play both sides. We, oh, it's just politics. Oh, it's just this. There's always an excuse. What went on here is inexcusable. And the report lays it all out in detail. I mean, this report didn't, th this is not an incomplete report. This isn't, something this isn't like the washington football team where there was no written report this it lays out what took place and all of the participants involved in this and really you know it's not a pr bad it's not bad pr bad pr desensitizes what took place what took place last night allowing that man to coach at the same time when you're putting out press releases admiring and praising Kyle Beach's uh, bravery. bravery. You spit in its face again. 